Hello, this is a quick review just to show you uh, the new pedometer that I've purchased. Now, um, I've just took it off, I've had it on for a complete two weeks and I've been swapping wrists so, um, so you understand what I explain on the review, which I have actually written that on the review. If I placed it here, the readings were lower. If I placed it on my left wrist here, uh, the readings were even lower. Um, obviously I've got my HR so I didn't want to take my Fitbit off. If I placed it on my right hand, um, near my, just there, uh, before my bracelets, then the reading was more accurate. Now that's because I'm a righty, uh, so I would suggest put it on your prom, uh, prominent hand uh, because it's a pedometer and it works with movement. It doesn't work like um, other heart trackers with the heart rate. So now that you're aware of that, uh, so I tried to explain but I think I was not doing too well. Um, so I just thought I'll let you know on the video too. Now I have measured the complete cir circumference, I'm going to say this wrong, um, with the, uh, the pedometer close to the max. It fits a child, um, it fits my 10 year old without an issue and then you can, I've measured it with this one to the maximum so it is quite um, you've got quite a bit of play it looks really good it looks very fashionable uh, very minimalistic I really like how it feels on the skin and um, it's very comfortable to remove um, and charge I've got a tip okay you remove it from one side then from the middle and then you slot it out and that would go straight into the USB port or mains adapter. I have explained on the video review that it only works with 5 watts so please <clears throat> excuse my voice um, my throat's not feeling too good um, so do not charge please um, with a normal um, adapter like your phones because that's um, at least 10 to 15 watts and that would actually fry uh, the battery of your pedometer. To put it back you simply insert do the same steps but backwards, you insert the USB port then you close the middle, for people like me with nails um, it's a bit more of a pain but there we go and it goes back in if you try and put it on together it won't work, it only works if you do it in steps first then the middle and then the top so it does have that extra um, security that other pedometers in the market don't now another thing I just wanted to show you because it's not the same explaining that's just me just gonna let it go back to normal uh, it's not the same to explain everything if you swipe you get the um, steps, the date you don't get any more readings but if when you're on a reading you tap then you've got the date and if you tap then you've got the calories, the steps, so I'm going to go again. You've got the steps here and you tap, you've got the distance and the calories. So you do get more information when you tap on, um, see it's all there, the calories, the steps and the distance. But it's a tap. If um, what I was doing wrong before, instead of swiping I actually tapped. And that's, that's where I go wrong. If you tap, um, instead of swiping, you'll just get the, you tap, you've got the date. So I hope that's a bit more clear. Don't do like me. I always, I seem to do my reviews with what you shouldn't do instead of what you should. In the smart um, little box that you receive, you've got the QR code at the back. Um, I've wrote um, the application on there, you might be able to find it but it's a lot easier always um, to QR code it and read it. Here's the application, I'm going to pronounce it wrong so I won't even attempt to. And then uh, once in it, as it's very simple, what I like, right now I have it off. Uh, but what I like about this pedometer is that you don't have the force of it not connecting uh, to the app. You don't have to press, even though it does have the synchronized button, you don't have to press it. It just automatically, every time I've opened my app, all the data has always been on it. 
and you've got the steps, you've got the calories, you've got the sports time and you've got the distance and you get a chart. I've also added some pictures um, to show you um, everything, you know, uh, comparing to my Fitbit HR, although I have to say it's not, like I mentioned on the review, it's not fair because this is not a heart tracker and not even my Fitbit HR is 100% accurate. Um, I must go up my stairs about 40 times a day and just because my heart rate is not a reason, um, I'll finish the day and I'll click on it and it'll say, let's have a look how many I've climbed today. It says I've climbed it four and I've been up since half three in the morning. So it's more like um, I've already gone up and down the stairs about 15 times, but never mind because my heart rate's not risen, it just thinks I've gone up for. So you know, these are not 100% accurate. They are gonna give you really helpful readings and they do motivate you. They have motivated me. They've motivated my husband. They've motivated my sister. They've motivated my daughter. The amount of different people um, that I know personally of that after buying a pedometer, um, have liked it so much and been so motivated that then after a year, two year, they've gone up, uh, some of them, my sister still has the pedometer, but they've gone up um, to buy a heart rate monitor, it's amazing. No one that has tried them has actually said, this is useless, this is not for me. And with this one, um, it actually tells you the battery on, on the front there, uh, which is great. The battery lasts for ages, I mean, I charged it and it was super quick to charge. And it's lasted, I don't know, 10 times more than my Fitbit HR. So it has a very good battery. It also notifies you of all messages if you give it the permission on the app. Um, the permission for that would be here at the top. And a messaging push. And then you need to give permission um, for it to access. And it was funny because it just kept... You've received an email. Um, you've received an SMS. You've uh, called from... So... It's great. Um, it's great to have it there on your wrist. It also gives you that little vibration alert. I really like it. Um, I would recommend it. It's very comfortable to wear. You almost don't realise it's there. As you can see size-wise comparing, it's a lot thinner, sleeker. Um, for me, it's a thumbs up. Um, I've written more details on the review. I don't want to bore you with my blah, 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 blah. Um, so <laughs> you've got the use manual, gives very detailed instructions, anything else, the whole two weeks experience, it's on my review, so it's okay, that's my husky puppy that wants to go out. So I hope this review has been helpful and thank you very much for watching.